Hey guys, Dan the Man here again, and today we're gonna look at how you can actually reduce the file size of what you've recorded with VSDC, Free Screen Recorder, or Fraps, or any other screen recording apps, basically. Because they usually give you a very large file size. This is not very large in my case, but it's about 500 megabytes for a minute of video. That's ridiculous, right? So first things you gotta do is just, you gotta download Hit Fill. Hit Fill. It's called Hit Film Express. It's a free application. You don't have to download the pro version of it. All you gotta do is just give your email address, set up an account, and blah blah blah. It's very easy. So I'll just leave this link in the description box. You can go and download it and register and install it. Installation is just two clicks, just like that. And all you gotta do is just open Hit Film Express once you're done installing and downloading it. It's not a very big application, by the way. It's uh, very easy to do it. So all you gotta do is just go to uh, new. From here, start editing. You can just set whatever you would like to. This is the uh, template I would like to have. From here, you just go to import. You click on that thing, media. And this is the file I've recorded. And you just wait for it to load for a while. It might take a little bit of time depending on how fast your HHT CPU and all that stuff uh, is on your system. Just wait here, drag and drop here, yes, and you can even play your own video, the one that you have uh, recorded, you can go through it, you can do edits if you want to, if not, if you just want to convert it, that's more than enough for you, so that's pretty much about it, and you come down here, at you see this icon here, it says export contents. You click on that export contents here, down here. It's a very small icon, it's like a film looking icon. Go to export. And from here, I'll, I would prefer to use the 720p version here, or you can go 1080p, I just prefer this one more. And you click on that and ex start export. Once you start exporting, it would send it to wherever your hit film files files are gonna be and you can see like C user blah 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 desktop uh, that's how I've set it and you can see the process if you scrolled here it's 24 percent 25 percent as you can see it's just going on and on for a while the good thing about hit film is that you can do a lot of editing on it but in this case we're not editing we're just trying to reduce the file size of what we have recorded so we're just gonna wait about 30 seconds and it will be over soon. It supports a big variety of uh, different video formats. You can add different audios, effects, uh, lots of things you can do here. It's like Adobe Premiere Pro, pretty much like that, but it's just that it's a free version of it. And you can, it's somehow like in app purchases too, you can buy effects too, but to, you, to just do the, any of this stuff, it's absolutely free. Okay, it's done, it's finished, and let's see the output file that we have. Okay. 